Hey everyone, Red here, and it's time to continue the beginner build series today with Chucky. Remember, for the beginner builds, I will only use that said killer's perks along with perks that are available to all killers at the start of the game to represent what a new player could get their hands onto from the first blood web. So let's go ahead and break down the build. First, we have batteries included. When within 12 meters of a completed generator, we'll have a 5% haste. This effect will last for 5 seconds after we leave the generator's range. Second, we have friends till the end. Whenever we hook a survivor that is not the obsession, the obsession will become exposed for 20 seconds and have their aura revealed for 10 seconds. But if we do hook the obsession, another random survivor will scream and reveal their position and also become the new obsession. Third, we're running Whispers. Whenever a survivor is within 32 meter range of us, we will sporadically hear the entity's whispers and you'll see this perk light up. Last but not least, we have Sloppy Butcher. Our basic attacks will inflict survivors with the mangled and hemorrhaged stas effects. And as far as add-ons, bring whatever you want, but I'll be going with the Power Drill, which will reduce Heidi Ho mode cooldown by 10% after hitting a survivor with Slice and Dice. And I'll be going with Jump Rope, which will increase the duration of Slice and Dice by 8%. If you're a Chucky main and you have a few nice ideas you want to give out to maybe some new Chucky players, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below. You never know who you're helping out. Make sure to like and subscribe button if you enjoy the beginner build series. Much love. Now let's go ahead and get to the gameplay. All right, and we got RPD for the first game. I love to see it. And we got Whispers right off the bat, so I know we're nearby. Oh, I hear somebody, actually. Oh, hey, Ada, what's going on? Do you have bounce landing? Hopefully not. No, she took the full fall, so we should be good. Oh, I clipped inside. That's so un so bad. That should have been an easy tag from us. But you know what? It happens, so no big deal. Nice little follow-through. Double vault. Go for the fake. Hi. <laughs> Oh, that's really lucky for us. We'll go ahead and get rid of this guy out for later. And now we can leave the chase. No reason for us to stick to it too hard. We still have whispers. Whispers went off. Oh, there it goes right back on. Is it that gen or the gen up above? Oh, it's definitely not this gen then. All right, let's go back over here. I might need to slice and dice to get over here. Come on. Hey, everybody. See if we can catch a hit on him as we fall. He actually does have balance landing. If he didn't, that would have been a very quick two tap for us. Maybe. Fair enough. Going under it would have been too helpful. Sloppy Butcher does quite a lot of slowdown if they do decide to heal, which Ada did. So we should be okay at the moment. And we have somebody like right here as well. Ooh, they actually might have ran through. Yeah, I think they did run through. That's okay. Let's maybe get an idea of where they went. Oh, stay hidden for a second. Hi, what's going on? I'll take that. It might have been better to go for a sloppy butcher hit, but just in case. Oh, we have everybody here. They are healing up, though, which is good. Don't worry. You can hold that for me for later. If they're healing, they're not on generators. Now, where are we at? There we are. And now we have everyone injured. Chasing Ada makes more sense here since we don't have to worry about like the god palette up ahead. But we might have to play around this one, unfortunately. Got three survivors there. Hold on. Can we go back? No, but we might be healing. And we were high. I'll be taking that. And we get to throw you on a hook right nearby a gem, which is always pretty helpful. We got you right there. Come on. Got it. Don't mind if I do. That's one of the really nice things about like having all the survivors injured. If they don't heal, it allows for us to set up some really good snowball potential. Which just means that we're able to kind of chain event some uh, actions. Got him. Nice try, though. All right. Right now, these guys are kind of in shambles, trying to catch back up. Oh. I'll be taking that. And we might as well give this a little bit of a love tap. 
Definitely showing just how strong Sloppy Butcher can be. We haven't got to show off batteries just yet, but even if we get a little bit of value from batteries, it makes up quite, quite the big deal. I could always look for a vault play here, but maybe not. Uh, we can go for Ada. No, maybe back here, though? What are you guys doing? Nothing there. Okay. I have a slice and dice that I want to try and catch up. Got it. That's actually really generous that we didn't get tagged into the wall. Sometimes you'll just accidentally go a little too much to the right and immediately hit a wall, which always feels oh so bad. Not exactly the best hook placement, but you know what? It will work. And we got somebody right there. That is friends till the end. Now, he does have balanced landing, so I don't know if I can really play on this too well. Yeah. Maybe I slice and dice. Probably not. Come on. Yeah, I, you know what? I shouldn't have. I told myself I shouldn't have, but I did anyways. I should have let go of the power sooner if I was going to. It means we should have someone coming for the save here in a split second, though. Let's keep it on the down. Or we're out here by the gen. That gen does have a little bit of progress. But I don't see anybody. So, we'll just go back through here. Nope, nobody. Oh, there goes the save. Hello. There you guys are. Hi. I could go for the Ada, but we'll go for her instead. I forgot Sable's name for a split second. Don't mind me. Oh, we went through this route. Oh, that's right. It is this wing. I always, you know, I always space on what wing we're playing on. But I did see you here. Nice try. Oh, I did not mean to pick up. Oh, no. I mean, all part of my diabolical plan. You guys fell hook, line, and sinker. So let's go ahead and throw you on the hook as well. We do have a little bit of batteries value here, by the way. There we go. That survivor's on death hook from here on out. You always want to try and keep your hook states in mind. And he's going to go do the same exact play, right? Yeah. I think what I do is I slice and dice all the way over there and try and catch up a little bit. You know, I could have actually maybe made a play... Yeah, maybe I could have made a play on the vault, where I could have like jumped over on the vault, but if he would have read that in any way, we would have been so far behind. Now it's just kind of playing from behind a little bit. I tried, at least we were able to catch up. Good luck winning this. Oh, he just tried giving up entirely, that's funny. We'll take it. We do have batteries here, so normal movement speed and Chucky being small makes these tiles incredibly hard to play on. There you are. That's the real thing with friends till the end. You might every now and then get some value out of the exposed, but the information is also just really nice to have for whether it be like going for adept chances or... Come on. Oh. Nice. Whether it be going for like adept or whether it be doing beginner builds. Information is always nice. Same thing with like getting slowed down. I know she went behind, but the other survivor, yep, right there. The other survivor has to make the swap. And that survivor is on death hook. There we go. That was easy. She's running over this way. On the bright side, this basically guarantees our W. But you can tell the gen still went by relatively quickly. Oh. Yeah, I got stuck. It's a little bit harder to play on. I know I can get this area with my power, though. Yeah, we need her to play greedy, though. And I think she will. <laughs> got it. They don't call me Red the Ankle Hunting Gears for nothing. And there he is. Oh, hey, man. Is that a dead hard? I really wasn't even paying attention there. All right, we'll go for the cutoff. Hopefully, he goes around this way, but he might go to the right. Who the hell do you yeah, he went to the right. From? Oh, let me see if I can do this. <laughs> Not the God Palette. Oh, yeah, he wasn't really aware. Hey, man. Thank you. 
I'll be taking that. And there we go. That is game one. Let's go ahead and get to our next. All right, and we got the Thompson house. Let's go. No more Mr. Good Guy. One thing is I always love when doing these like beginner builds, though, is just getting to play a little bit more with Whispers. It's such a solid, like, beginner perk. We already have, we already know somebody who's over here. Hey, gamer, what's going on? Oh, thankfully you are here. Hi. I might leave her a little bit. Oh, especially since I have somebody right here. You know, people and their names on Dead by Daylight never cease to amaze me. Oh. You know, sometimes you are your own worst enemy. I feel like Sable is an example of that. Are we staying here? Nope, the third Sable in the game is right to the right. We have everybody over here. That's really good for us. Where is the other Sable? Hi. Might be better to go for a sloppy butcher hit, but that's okay. Ah, any means necessary. Okay. So she can lift up pallets. It means I'll break them a little bit more later on. I saw one of the corn stalks here move. Did we hold it forward? No, we're right here. Cool. How? How does that miss? Like that should not even been close. Whatever. You know what? It works. There you go. Get out of here. Everyone injured. That's what we want. Still annoyed though. Oh, you went this way. A little weird. Yeah, I angled that horribly. I need to angle that way more to the left initially. There you go. That should be it, right? Yep, there we go. Hi. Nice. They have a little bit of gen pressure right there. At least hopefully this time we'll get some information. No. Oh, right, there we are. I don't know if I really want to play on Shaq, though, is the only problem. And she's definitely preemptively running. That's one of the downsides, like, friends till the end, is that you know you're the one most likely being targeted. Yeah, it was worth a try. I don't know if I really want to stay here and play on it, though. Do you have anything else here? I mean, if we play on the TNL, maybe. Like, it's not as bad here. Hi. Oh. Like I said, these two goobers, man. I know Chucky's hard to see, but still. We'll see if we can protect this gen for a little bit. Yeah, I see you eyeballing it right away. Oh, corn blindness is a real thing. Don't come at me. I should catch this before they can get to a vault. Yeah, nice. Now you hold that for me. And then we need to get Mike over here and pick up this survivor. Yeah. Hey, what's going on? Go back on the ground. Did not tell you to stand up. And we have a hook right here. So hopefully we can actually protect that gen. It wasn't the most impactful, but it should help. I see you stealthing right here. Maybe we follow up with a quick two-tap? Yes, we do. Those two decide to heal up. Are you going to take a hit? No, not going to take a hit. Probably a good idea overall. The other survivor needs to come for the save here. This gen's still regressing. Maybe I can tag it? You know, I do wish, since we had the uh, Chucky changes... Hey, what's going on, gamer? Go for you real quick. There we go. I'll say, I do wish with the Chucky changes, whenever we vault something, when we're in our dash, that we could actually get a little bit more camera control now, since we can't do it, you know, in general, like, without being in dash. I want mine a little bit more control. Oh, we have numerous survivors here. Well, what's going on? 
And thankfully, we're right by a hook. Man, I still love that Chucky just is constantly flipping off survivors. I still love all the attitude. I did hear the other survivor over here. And I see them now. No. You're trying to set up the hit, but maybe you should have healed them then. I'm guessing they uh, messed up the heal and Sloppy Butcher was taking too long. So, we'll throw you right here. Are we right there or not? We are, but I'm a... Uh... Yeah, I guess I'll go for this. I was really debating if I want to go for like the friends till the end, but... That's kind of the best route we can go. The person was already running away. Nice read. I'm just kidding. It's hard to read against Chucky. A lot of people don't know how to do it. But you definitely don't want to be just randomly taking the vaults. Going for the save. Friends giving us that awesome aura. I'll be nice. Can maybe I fake this person out? Oh, damn. Well, I'm over it. I have no need of playing at Shaq as a 110 with no power. Though, the cooldown now is much better. And it feels so good. There we are. We got everybody here. Whoops. That should have been a hit by let go of the button. No pre-drop. Probably should have, though. We'll be close. Got it. I can't pick up, though. I know there's a survivor, like, right here. Yeah, there you are. There we go. And it's a relatively good pallet for us. Yeah. These guys are just in shambles right now. Up you go. They almost have us to one gen, though. Like, they've been on gens. They just have not done well in chase. Alright, let's see if I can pick up without someone getting me. Awesome, they are healing up. That's okay. If they're healing up, I'm guessing they're healing up, like, right by the generator over here. And hopefully Sloppy Butcher plays a part. I'm pretty sure she's still affected by Sloppy, so we might be able to get, get her here in time. Batteries. Hi. And look at that, we even got friends till the end exposed value. You'll love to see it. Oh, hello. Gotta make like the instant swap. I mean, it doesn't really bother me at all. Yeah, I'll even hook her up and give her a chance to get hatched. There you go. Are we holding to the left? No, it doesn't look like it, so we're probably gonna run straight to Shaq. Yeah, we went all the way to Shaq. Can I... Like, I just wish we could get some more turn on the uh, vaults. It'd be so nice. Ah, Dead Hard Gaming. Fair enough. Can't really do much against Dead Hard. You gotta give up your power or... Like, you gotta go past them? I guess I could go past her and then, like, try and block her, but a little hard to read in the moment. There it is. And there we go. That is my beginner build for Chucky. I definitely recommend trying it out, especially if you're new to the game or new to Chucky and don't have access to all the perks. Much love, everyone. And until next time, I'm Red. And I'm signing off.